Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to compare two flagship phones one from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with the Xiaomi Mi 5. So these two phones were released or rather announced uh, back in uh, Mobile World Congress 2016 in Barcelona and uh, both these devices are now available in India. So we'll do a detailed comparison of these two phones. Now one of the interesting aspect about this comparison is that uh, uh, one of the device that's a Xiaomi Mi 5 is priced almost half of the pricing of the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the Edge. Both uh, we're going to compare uh, the S7 and the Edge. The only difference being the display size and the curved edge. So uh, we'll do a detailed comparison and see which is better device to buy here uh, with respect to a lot of aspects. So before we go into the detailed aspect, let's first have a quick look at the specs. So the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge uh, uh, comes with a 5.5 inch Quad HD display. It's powered by uh, the Exynos Octa-Core chipset coupled with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. It has a dual SIM card, micro SD card expansion slot, Android Marshmallow uh, with uh, uh, the Samsung touch with UI and uh, 3600 milliamp hour battery there is uh, a 12 megapixel rear camera front facing 5 megapixel camera so that is the spec aspect of uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge now coming to the Xiaomi uh, Mi 5 this comes with a uh, 5 inch 5.15 inch uh, full HD display it's powered by the Snapdragon 820 uh, Quad core chipset clocked at 1.8 GHz coupled with 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. It has dual SIM card support but no micro SD card expansion slot. And on the camera front, this has 16 megapixel rear camera and front facing 4 megapixel camera. Now this also has Android Marshmallow with a MIUI 7 and a 3000 mAh battery. So that is the spec aspect of these two phones. Now let's go into the detailed aspects. Let's first have a look at the design and build quality. Now looking at the design of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So Samsung hasn't done too much change uh, with respect to the design when compared to the previous generation device but it's now uh, more refined and uh, looks much better you can see the curved edges that uh, the edges uh, look really good uh, the finishing also is really premium and uh, you can see the a seven edge has an uh, edge to edge display it's a curved display on uh, either edges uh, those aspects we'll talk about later but overall you can see this has a Koning Gorilla glass finishing on uh, front and rear panel and uh, this uh, looks really premium it has a metallic construction with a glass finished but uh, one of the issues with this device it, it's uh, prone to fingerprints you can see a lot of fingerprints it attracts a lot of fingerprints and you might have to clean the device occasionally so that's one uh, issue apart from that uh, looks really good in terms of design this is almost 159 grams uh, the s7 is around 152 grams so not much of difference uh, in terms of the weight uh, uh, with respect to the s7 and s7 edge but uh, all in all we would say this is really good device uh, in terms of the finishing build quality except for the fact that it's slightly heavier and it's a fingerprint magnet apart from that uh, looks wise this looks really good uh, a perfect flagship to hold uh, i mean uh, the finishing also looks really good the design of the Xiaomi Mi 5 is inspired uh, from the Xiaomi Mi Note which was announced uh, last year. You can see the uh, curved edges uh, towards the rear panel, the edges uh, are, uh, you can see the back panel has a curved edges. Again, this is uh, made of metal but then it has Koning Gorilla Glass uh, 4 on both the front and rear panels, very similar to uh, the, uh, the Galaxy S7 Edge and uh, you can uh, see there is uh, uh, the finishing and build quality looks really good. But unlike the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, uh, this is not a fingerprint magnet that's one good aspect and this is just 129 grams that's pretty lightweight when compared with the Samsung's uh, S7 and S7 Edge which is almost 150 plus grams so that's one uh, aspect and uh, this uh, device looks really compact you can see the uh, edges of the display also are uh, pretty slim and narrow bezels make it really good to hold and 5.15 inch uh, form factor is really good uh, although the Samsung Galaxy uh, S7 also has a smaller display the weight factor is one of the most important aspects in this comparison of design and build quality. So uh, again, uh, it's, it depends upon uh, the user to user, uh, which uh, form factor is really good for them, uh, whether it's a 5.5 inch uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or a 5.15 inch on the Mi 5. But uh, for the comfort factor of uh, weight and the overall uh, build quality, we would be slightly inclined to choose the Xiaomi Mi 5 here. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is no far behind. Uh, it's almost neck to neck in terms of the display and uh, build quality. But then uh, for overall lightweight aspect and uh, uh, the finishing uh, we would uh, say the Xiaomi Mi 5 has an edge here. 
Now talking about the display. So here there is a big difference. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Edge comes with a Quad HD display. Uh, that's a lot of pixels uh, on the display. While uh, the Xiaomi Mi 5 has stick to the uh, Full HD panel. But having said that, the Xiaomi has included a 16 LED configuration on the Mi 5, which makes it really bright even in sunlight. Both these devices are really good. The touch response is also very smooth on both these devices. The viewing angles, the color quality, everything looks uh, really sharp on both these devices. Now, if you're looking uh, just by the uh, configuration then the winner would be the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge but if you're looking at uh, what our uh, eye can process then we don't really see a big difference uh, in these two devices in terms of the display. So that was the display aspect. Now let's move on to the software and performance. So software again both these phones come with a marshmallow out of the box uh, but then the difference between these two devices is the software. Uh, both have custom uh, UIs. Uh, Samsung has this touch with UI which is um, uh, an iteration of the previous uh, generation. Now we have, you can see that Samsung has uh, made this much better uh, and uh, this is one of the really good uh, touch with implementations. We have this uh, uh, customizable, uh, uh, I mean the notification panel, quick toggles. Then uh, we have an app drawer. Uh, the settings uh, menu is again a customized one. We have a quick toggles again in the settings menu. Uh, looks really good. There is theming option available. There are lots of themes to choose from. You can download themes. We have this edge to edge display, which also has this additional uh, always on display. And uh, then uh, we also have this app on edges. Uh, you can uh, choose between these. Uh, uh, there is also notification panel uh, available on the edge uh, screen. That makes it even more better. But then uh, they, are, they are just uh, features to add up. They're not really that uh, useful uh, unless uh, Samsung makes it uh, much better in terms of the usage so but then uh, this is a new innovative feature definitely works really well uh, so that is the software aspect now uh, talking about the performance uh, this device really excels in performance the Exynos uh, Octa-Core chips is really performing chipset and uh, comparable to Snapdragon 820 and this has 4 gigs of RAM although Samsung S7 comes with 820 in certain markets the Indian variant has the Exynos uh, Octaco chipset and uh, this has 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. The performance is really superior. Uh, we would say it's best uh, 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 on a device which we have tested so far. Really fast and uh, performing. Even when you wake up apps uh, from this uh, background, it works really well. Uh, it's pretty quick to switch between apps. So everywhere uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, performs really well. The gaming experience is excellent with a Quad HD display and the graphic looks really good and uh, the heating is also pretty nominal at just around 40 degrees or 41 degrees so no major heating issues as well. So overall we would say performance really is superior on uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Edge. Now talking about the software performance on the Xiaomi Mi 5, this again has Android 6.0 uh, Marshmallow but now we have uh, uh, this uh, Mi UI 7 so you can see this has a custom uh, notifications and even the settings menu is completely customized and uh, this has uh, multiple home screens uh, devoid of an app drawer and uh, we can see that uh, there are lots of themes to choose from uh, and uh, this is heavily skinned UI when compared to the touch face UI. This is uh, a much more uh, uh, heavy UI in terms of uh, the, uh, the skinning and uh, looks you also have uh, themes to customize uh, there are lots of themes to choose from uh, so you can customize lock screen and other aspects so that's one uh, good aspect now uh, talking about the performance this is um, uh, this runs on a uh, snapdragon 820 uh, quad core chips at clocked at 1.8 gigahertz this is an underclock variant uh, with 3 gigs of ram and when you compare with the performance uh, of the samsung galaxy s7 with the mi 5 there are differences uh, when you uh, the major difference is uh, when you uh, run apps uh, or when you multitask rather uh, the switching between apps is much more faster on the samsung galaxy s7 when compared to the xiaomi mi 5 the the ui is not really optimized we would say the mi ui has uh, some uh, uh, drawbacks because of it, it's uh, heavy uh, the switching of apps is not really fast and the wake up uh, from uh, background uh, does take some time when compared to the S7. Now talking about the overall performance we would say it's a Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, that wins here with really superior performance with 4 gigs of RAM and uh, uh, an optimized touch with UI. But if you're looking for a customized UI with a lot of options to choose between then uh, that we would say uh, it's the MIUI which offers additional options. But then MIUI also has its own downside. The notification is one of the major issues. We can't expand the notifications. That's one major issue but we are sure that uh, that uh, would be addressed in future versions. So uh, the Xiaomi Mi 5 also does not have uh, 
uh, and a micro SD card expansion slot. So if you're looking for to expand the storage, that would be one of the major issues. It comes with a default 32 gigs of internal storage. Uh, that's the only version available in India right now. And uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge also has this micro SD card expansion slot. And this is also IP68 certified. That means you can use it inside the water and it's also dust resistant. And apart from that, it also has uh, this heart rate sensor, which is missing on uh, uh, the Xiaomi Mi 5. And uh, both these devices have fingerprint scanners on the friend, uh, which is integrated to the home button. Now the home button uh, uh, does work really well with the fingerprint, but uh, Xiaomi has made some Additional changes you can customize the navigation buttons also there is a, a tap to go back to the home screen and added options in the home button which is missing on the Samsung Galaxy S7 so that's the uh, options now let's move on to the camera now both these devices are really flagship quality cameras uh, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 comes with a 12 megapixel camera with f1.7 while the Xiaomi Mi 5 comes with a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 now the front facing camera is 5 megapixel on the Samsung Samsung Galaxy S7 while it's 4 megapixel on the Xiaomi Mi 5. Now talking about the interface, both these devices are really good in terms of the interface. While Samsung offers lots of modes to choose between, you can see a lot of additional modes are there. You can also download additional modes and uh, interface is pretty cute as well. Both these devices have really good interface. We can't really choose between uh, one of the interface here because it's, uh, it's a personal choice on whether uh, you want uh, uh, the touch face like UI or uh, whether you want uh, the Xiaomi's Mi UI camera interface. So that's the personal choice. But now comparing the camera samples, uh, you can uh, you can see some of the samples which you have taken this with this device. We would say uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 has a slight edge over uh, the Mi 5 in terms of overall performance, uh, both in daylight and also uh, low light. And um, uh, the sharpness levels is one of the really good aspects about Samsung Galaxy S7 and uh, does work really well. In the daylight shots, we would say the Mi 5 is almost similar to uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. But when it comes to low light performance, that's where uh, the uh, the 12 megapixel camera along with the uh, optical image stable Realization works really well on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Edge. Although there is uh, optical image stabilization on uh, even on the Xiaomi Mi 5, uh, it's not really as superior as the Xiaomi, uh, Samsung Galaxy S7's uh, optical image stabilization. We already done a detailed comparison of uh, the video samples taken from these two devices. You can also check out that uh, camera samples. So uh, one of the other important aspects about this uh, these two devices is that both can record videos in 4K and here again we would say the Samsung Galaxy S7 has an edge over the Mi 5. So in the camera department uh, we would say uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is a better choice here uh, with respect to all the camera aspects be it daylight, low light, even the video recording. And the front facing selfie camera are pretty decent on both these devices. You can also check out our video on uh, the camera sample comparison of these, these two phones to have an idea about how the camera performance is. Now finally, the battery performance. Now both these devices have really good capacity battery. The Xiaomi Mi 5 has a 3000 mAh battery and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge has a 3600 mAh battery while uh, the S7 has a 3000 mAh battery. Now the battery performance is pretty good on both these devices and you can easily get a day of uh, battery life with these flagship devices uh, with moderate usage and we could get around uh, 4 hours of screen on time on both these devices. Now the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge has a bigger display and a quad HD display uh, to power with a 3600 mAh battery while uh, Xiaomi's Mi 5 has a full HD display and a smaller display to power uh, with the 3000 mAh battery. So in the battery performance we would say both these devices are pretty decent uh, and you can get one day of usage uh, with this battery. Now talking about the overall aspect which is better value for money. Now the Xiaomi Mi 5 is priced uh, 25,000 while the Samsung Galaxy S7 is almost 47k and uh, the Edge is around 56k. So that's a huge price difference between these two devices. Now if you're looking for outright performance on a, on a, on a smartphone then obviously the, uh, the choice is Samsung Galaxy S7 because it's really the best performing device out there. Really great performance with Octa Core chipset. Camera is also really good. The display everything looks really good except for this uh, fingerprint magnet on the, uh, on the uh, build quality except for that and it's a, it's kind of slippery at times that's the only disadvantage we would say apart from that uh, it's really good device to buy
but if you're looking for a device which uh, uh, which is not uh, really high on your pocket uh, with almost half the pricing uh, and you are ready to leave with the slight compromises like uh, slight uh, performance hiccups uh, when you uh, when you run multiple apps and switch between them in the background and uh, an above average camera then the Xiaomi Mi 5 is a, a great choice here so it uh, boils down to uh, which aspect if you are not really worried about uh, uh, the pricing of uh, these two devices and you have uh, yeah, uh, you're not really bothered about the pricing then uh, definitely our choice would be the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the Edge but if you're looking for uh, a device with a really great value for money aspect then the Xiaomi Mi 5 would be the better choice so that was a detailed comparison of these two phones hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to YouTube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day